hey guys welcome back to another nico's live another vlog um so you know um it's a new year and when new year comes everybody oh new year new me no that is not me this year not me i am new year same me but triple times focus on what i actually want and what i actually need to improve myself and you see life life is funny life is funny because we're in life and we're here but sometimes we don't really know our purpose what's your purpose where, where are they for where are they part for um is your purpose being fulfilled uh many people go through life and never find them purpose so till we're we out like I was seeing something where a filmmaker she never got her she made her first big hit film at 80 um Vera Wong made her first dress at 40 and like you know when you see things like persons your age and the same age or younger achieving or different a different skill and you say oh that should have been me and everything i one time i tricked my mom i made a fake tattoo i got a fake tattoo right and um i installed it and everything while she wasn't here i was telling her about it she saw my preparations of actually shaving and everything and getting prepared and when i got home when she got home she saw the tattoo and um, well i lit up and everything to make it look real however um it wasn't real however the tattoo and the message or the meaning that i came up with about the tattoo was spot on so it was half of a clock but the clock was in roman numerals the clock was broken and the other half was a lion face and i gave her the meaning meaning like okay my name means leader or i see myself as a leader i am never a follower i mean i like follow people me like do my own thing i like set my own trend and um the clock being in roman numerals and broken means not living on anybody else's time your time when it am for you it am for you or your time that and what is gone in the past can't be regained but you can actually improve and better yourself your time and your time when are your time for boats when are your time for shine when are your time for take off like rocket nobody can stop you right so that was a perfect example and to this day i look back on that and it's very it resonates with my life and my no means of finding purpose or finding my purpose because growing up um everybody said oh be a doctor lawyer teacher nurse um but what is it that you really want? Going to school, me got school for enough things, enough things, enough profession, um, which I don't even look at today, and I'm not even currently working in any of those profession. So you see, and even going to school now, I have to be looking at it at. Um, through a bigger picture saying okay at the end of this I will be able to do that and not necessarily walk along the same lines as my degree however my degree would become um, useful or utilized in um, whichever profession I take on and do my degree in HR so what is my purpose what is life i like i know that i like helping people i like um i hate injustice i hate a lot of things and i like to you know stand up for persons who can't necessarily stand up for themselves and um 
I like just I like charity. I like volunteerism. I, I I think of myself as a philanthropist in a sort of a way. Um, it may not be main scale or big, but however, um, I do what I can. And with God's willing, hopefully in the future I can take it further. However, um, what's your purpose? What, where, 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 where do you part for? Each day, you can't beat up yourself, you know? You can't beat up yourself because people know that they, that you may think that everybody has their life intact and they know what they're about. No. Some people just take it day by day, step by step, and try to go through the motion and try to figure it out just like you. Don't bother beat up yourself. Don't bother get dismayed. Don't, yeah. <laughs> life a life. Live it. Continue going. I said life is a journey. Sometimes the road have bumps and bruises and yeah, you know ups, eyes and low go around the corner in the mountain and the hill and the valley. That is life. Um so my word that I've been using for um last year that resonates with my life or my current life or my current phase in life at the moment is being selfish yes you heard me right selfish being selfish doesn't necessarily means it's a bad thing not most of my life i've been selfless now i am at a stage where i need to be selfish selfish with my time what doesn't help me what doesn't help me to be productive what doesn't help me to matriculate to a different area in life what isn't progressive what isn't benefiting me or investing in me my time my efforts my my presence um i just exclude myself um i extricate all of these things persons Anything where I don't see myself align with a purpose, a vision, yeah, it can come out, it can move because guess what? I always tell everybody if I am not happy, no one else can be happy, no one else is happy because guess what? I have to be able to be happy, and once I'm happy. I will be able to help you or make you happy. If me not happy and you come to me sad, be, oh sh, you know like you are poor in our well, however are you poor in a cup and a cup full and a cup just a run over, that's going to be the effect. And on a half full and an half empty situation where I can say, okay, let me help you do this. Me can't help you if me not happy. Oh go. Me, it like, no, no, me, me. So I tell everybody if me not happy, you naga happy when you come to me because guess what? I don't really care. That's not my main focus. That's not my main prerogative. That's not the outlook that I'll be giving you wouldn't make any sense. May I tell you to so come back to me next time? Or something, cause guess what? I have to sort out myself, and I am very, me no know, me very emotional. Not saying emotional cry or anything like that, but my emotions change within an instant, a snap. Me no know if I can say in a me, or what, but it just change. So this minute, me can be happy and everything, and then I'm just switch and I'm just sad, and I um, I think I'm an empath because me draw others emotions are their feelings so guess what my like their own cheerful people my like being open i'm a free spirit and if i'm at somewhere or around someone who constantly drains me i'm just going to be depressed and stuck in a box and believe it or not i i <laughs> really look at myself as an introvert. I was a very very shy person. However, my job and interacting with people 
actually helped me to change and actually gave me a different outlook to say well you have to come out of your shell you have to communicate you have to do certain things and i pushed myself and um that's how i'm currently an ambivert however i still have the introvert tendencies because at the end of the day or at the end of the week i one of my favorite things to do is just lock away in my room in the darkness listen to some music watch some movie or just just stay stay there in the stillness of it all and just recoup um try to gain back energy be re-energized because i have done a lot of interaction and a lot of things that pulled me here there and everywhere pull my emotions so i need to re-collaborate and i need to be centered so that i can give the best me at all times and look at this it's okay not to be okay mental health and something where everybody needs to check a look on check a stack fan because guess what? we live in jamaica and i know in jamaica we don't necessarily see mental health as top priority but it is it needs to be taken into retrospect that our mental health is key. I tell myself at work even, I said enough work coming in and everything. It doesn't make any sense to be overwhelmed and to try to kill yourself. Tomorrow is another day. Tomorrow is another day. And if you kill yourself, you fluster yourself, you, you do all of that. At the end of the day, when you've done work and beat up yourself and everything and you use for yourself, it may lead to... Um, illness and all of them something you pass away all the workplace is going to give you oh well he was a good worker they may send a read or something no you can't afford to do that so guess what whatever i like i always like to tell my co-worker this whatever you don't have control over just let it take its course because this minute you know, you have beat up yourself. Oh, this, this is, and you are rushed around, and you are flustered, and you are angry, and you are frustrated because you don't have control over the situation. However, a few minutes after you look back at this same situation and be like, whew, because guess what? You don't have control over it, you know. So guess what? Whatever will happen is going to happen so all you have to do is just sit down and try to think on ways in which you can solve or help ease the result where it don't hurt you uh, you know how are you going to manage um life is very rough life is going out in the mornings and coming home in the evenings is a big blessing i like to sit down and i like to watch nature like my lunch breaks i go and i eat my lunch somewhere in a recre recreational area you know so i can see the birds jamaica national bird is a hummingbird right and to see them in their natural habitat their natural element Swishing back to forth the noise they made the different birds chirping the different flowers. I Recently learned about the flowers the grass I don't know, name Shim, Shimamaka. It's a tree. It's a It's kind of a grass. It grows in grass and if you cover over it you move against it or cover it just close the leaves just close up and just for just sit down and enjoy nature, help me for regroup myself, help me for come back and look and say, oh wow, look what God taking time for do sit down and make all of them something here and just help you for look on it because guess what? God sit down and make you and if he sat and made you and um, you're a part of his plan, we are worried about all my day, every, every day I get up, I say, all right, Father God, let your will be done. Um, me can't manage it by my own. When me can't manage it by my own, me, me tell anybody, me tell anybody. Me don't know about nobody else, but me know about me. Me a God favorite. Me don't know about nobody else. Me can't talk about nobody else. Story, but me know about my own. In life, me say, 
and how I look at it, God, there is a saying that God gives his strongest soldiers um, the hardest battle. And sometimes I have to use this to comfort myself and look at things because every time I'm going through a situation, I ask God to just um, let me to look at it on a perspective of somebody else going through something more drastic than what I'm going through, something more dire than what I'm going through, to actually show me that what I'm going through is minor. You know? Because if we look at life that way, trust me, trust me. Who remembers the, the, the story of the... um? The man in the tree, he was going to hang himself because he said, I'm hungry and the food not dead there. And the last food him have is a banana. And we'll go up in a tree and eat it and then um, take his life. However, when he dropped, he dropped the banana peel. And he looked down and saw that somebody else took it up to eat it. He then looked at life differently. And that's what... That's how I want to look at life because we're all here. What's your purpose? What's your aim? Um, and if we look at our problems and trials because depression is a hell of a thing, mental health is a hell of a thing, and then guess what? If you see somebody or you see some signs of mental health in somebody, some form of depression, because persons who are depressed not all the time tends to show their depression. Um, I'm seeing where like late, early this year, or late last year, um, Twitch from Ellen Show, um, where he took his life and like I saw a video with him two hours before that and he was dancing, he was happy. Dancing is a form of expressing yourself and the type of dancing and the movement and the, the tempo was a more upbeat so you wouldn't think but Sad to say we don't always see the signs but whenever you do see the sign or whenever you don't We can all do something. Guess what we can do? Be kind to one another be nice to somebody. You don't you don't know what people are going through. You don't know what people are going through. And it doesn't hurt to be kind. Because guess what? When you are kind to someone and the reaction that you get or the feeling that you get is satisfying and it helps you internal to be happy. And that's what we all need because in a many sense we are going to run and jump and who I am this and I am that. But when you look around, you have made everybody unhappy. Like, sometimes how I look at like, I'm going to get up and if I say, oh, I am this and I am that, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't show anything. It doesn't show anything about your character. It just shows that you're mean. You're... You know, in a sense, it upon the earth, you know, serves a purpose. Because if your main responsibility is to go around to make other people unhappy and sad and all of them, so wait, 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 or anything, I'd ask somebody to reread it because guess what? No, me full of attitude, you know. And if from you slip, you slide with me. However, I want to always make sure that my tone, whenever it is, my tone is pleasant because sometimes some people have got through some hell, some bars I give them hell. Them have stress at home, them have health problems, them have issues, and they're putting out their best. And you know, you come and give them attitude and give them, you know, make sense. Whenever I go to a fast food establishment, you know, or any customer service um, based establishment or institution, trust me, 
my mother always tell me say three persons in life you should always be kind to in an organization is the security <coughs> the janitor and the person in the kitchen and that stick with me straight through straight through but guess what whenever i do interact with anybody customer service based relationship or anything even if i'm getting an attitude from the person like i can understand because guess what sad people are hurt people hurt people so your boss just push off them frustration for you you go outside and you push off your frustration on somebody else and the chain continues the cycle continues but guess what we can choose whether we want to push off the frustration or not we can change that narrative because guess what i don't feel them fall they never do not oh they never do not you know they never do a thing um and when i go to a kitchen and she's like yeah this is so warm to you oh you look so mm -mm. okay that's something like even where i have this place where i buy lunch um a favorite place to buy lunch and i was there one day and a customer she was the the cashier was dealing with me however um the customer that was there she was being um why is this so and this and that and so however she didn't know that i was before her and she started to behave on the cashier and everything i was like you know what never mind don't don't pay her any mind some people have problem some people have stress and all kind of problem and i'm choose to come take it out from people just by highlighting that and saying that change her idea change her outlook because guess what she's dealing with everybody every customer and guess what the energy that she gets from you is the energy that she will have to put out and it's very hard for you to get up and be positive and cheery when people just a bit drag on amongst you people just are trying to tear you down it's it not easy so you have to understand sometimes it's hard um i would never want to work in the bpo sector because of the same thing persons call you and they tell you all kind of derogative things and stuff like that and you have to be there being pleasant and kind and them the members say are you man they might have to just like themselves you know and they want good customer service however they're telling you all kind of things i i just don't like that so i always try to put out the best Cause life short life is very short so guess what you do put out your best do all that you can and be the better best you best you we can the under earth and everybody likes us something is wrong if everybody likes us we are people please at them time there however we can't be everybody cup of tea cow in our mugs and i always tell people this i am um imported belgium chocolate so i am very rare i am an exclusive caliber of chocolate so i'm gonna normal and you not liking me that's okay because you know used to good and everybody used to certain things some people used to bush tea not saying that there's something wrong with bush tea but then everybody used to good things you know and everybody used to niceness so and everybody are able to like you gravitate you that's okay however what you do and what you should always do is earn or demand respect they don't have to like you, you know but from them respect you that's cool you don't need to cross no boundary you don't need to cross the line life shot i'm seeing on the news where persons are dying for more than once multiple times i'm seeing where persons this year are dying just for a hundred dollars over an argument and some just some little ma minuscule disagreements and stuff like that it doesn't make any sense try to live your life try to find your purpose if your purpose is baking and you know you, you can bake well 
you big, big to the best of your ability and be able to love you, put out your things and because guess what? It shows. It shows from your work. And guess what? You never know. Because guess what? You like baking and you like this business and you like going through it. So guess what? When you bake, okay, you bake a cake, you do it, and you put a little card in it, you do something, something special about your product, and you put it out there. The person that is receiving it, you can change them there, change them outlook, and by you doing that, cause a ripple effect. So just be you, be you, be natural. Um, I hate persons who pretend to be somebody else. The pretentiousness and being cocky and live you, do you. Guess what? I tell myself every day, look, you're not too much copy in the world. And God make you so special with so much personality. You cannot fit in. You cannot fit in. Try stand out. God put you as a light. Try shine. Yeah? Try shine. Nobody try fit in. And everybody got understand. However, when they should understand and what they should understand, they will get it. When they need to get it. Maybe the chapter when them are read, them not reach your level eight. Alright? Then the chapter four and your chapter eleven. Just be you. Try find a purpose in life. Try, you know. Let us be human beings. Um, people go through things every day, you know. So, just be you. <laughs> I always tell everybody: don't be anybody else. Don't try to be anybody else. Just be authentically you. And me can only be me. Me can only be me. So you only be you. Alright? <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>